Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris Lee and you are now watching United Destiny Entertainment Tutorials Online. What's up guys? Chris Lee back with another United Destiny Entertainment Tutorial. This is part two of the video series that I'm going to be showing you guys on how I mix and prepare a session uh, to start mixing vocals inside of Adobe Audition to get some really good, uh, nice, clean vocals. Uh, in the first portion of this video, uh, or the first video segment of the video, I showed you guys how to rename your tracks, clean your tracks up, and uh, basically just get things prepared so you can start mixing. This video series, I'm going to show you guys how I start taking individual tracks and cleaning them up so I can get ready to either start panning things or adding some EQ compression and things like that. So let's get into it. All right, so after I didn't... Have, have my tracks named and my tracks are now cleaned up. What I want to do is a lot of you always ask me this. We can either do it now or we can do it later. But I personally like to go in and do it now and start cleaning up the vocals. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and make that happen. So while cleaning the vocals up, you just want to double click it. Now we're going to go into the waveform. I'm going to tell you right now. Anytime you're about to start mixing vocals or applying effects in the waveform, you have to be careful with that because that is something that we call um, destructive editing. And what that basically means is that anytime you apply an effect on this portion in this this particular window, uh, everything, the, every effect that you apply to the vocals is going to be married, which means it's going to be permanent to the vocals in you want to be very careful with that because if you mix a session for a client and a client just so happened not to like that particular effect, there isn't going to be a way that you can go back and actually take those effects off those vocals. So you want to stay away from uh, doing a lot of editing inside of the waveform because, again, it's destructive editing. You're not going to be able to take those effects off. If you're going to be using a waveform for anything, what I recommend is using it for stuff like uh, noise reduction or, you know, hits reduction or whatever the case may be. Other than that, I would do everything else in a multi-track mixer window so you can apply those effects, effects and take them off. That would be a process that we call non-destructive editing which means that whatever effects you put on there in a mixer window you can actually take those particular effects off and reapply something else okay so for this window what i like to do in general is just take a little space that you can obviously hear hear anything because a lot of times we have the headphones too loud and that, and that's okay but we want to kind of capture that noise uh, reduction and and take that out of there. So what I like to do is highlight a little section and go down to effects. Go up to effects and then go down to capture noise print. Once I go to capture noise print, I like to highlight the entire vocal. or which, Whichever is going to be in range for you. And then you go back to noise reduction. And notice here, you want to listen to it. She a bad girl. Okay, you see the noise reduction has actually uh, captured the noise that we want to take out of the recording. And I'm just going to apply that. She going to make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerk. Now, the noise reduction is really subtle, and which is a good thing, okay? Uh, the same thing here. A lot of this, you can just go in and silence it. But you want to be careful that you don't silence too much. Um, the, of the beginning of the vocals because when you do, it won't sound natural as a vocal artist or a rap artist is starting to transition into the next vocal take. So after you silence everything in general, what I like to do is apply some fades at the beginning and the end. Doesn't matter, just apply your fades so there's no clipping when it's time for you to record. Uh, the next thing that I like to do is... <clears throat> There's a lot of different effects in here that you can actually choose. If you have any hum or or hissing issues that you need to take out of your recordings, then obviously you would do that here. That's not the case in this particular recording, so I'm not going to worry about that. So right now, I'm just going to go to my gain envelope, and I'm just going to hit apply, Okay. She a bad girl, she gon' make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerk it, I'm about to push up on it. Okay, 
So that's, I mean, that's one thing that I like to do for the particular vocal. Now, to save yourself some trouble when you're applying these specs, I'll, effects, I'll go ahead and show you how to do it now. But you just want to capture a, a little noise print. Because nine times out of ten, when you record this stuff, it's going to be in the same area, in the same location. So once I capture the noise print, I want to go in, set my noise reduction, and apply it. Now, I'm going to undo that real quick, and I'm going to go back and go to noise reduction. And this time, I'm going to click this button here because I want to save it. I'm going to just save it as BG for bad girl, okay? That That's letting me know that anytime I want to apply that same noise reduction to any vocals in this particular session, I now have that option. I don't have to worry about um, having to do the capture print every time. Silence here. Again, this is where you she like you want to be careful when you do that, because sometimes you these breaths, you don't want to take them completely out all the time. It just depends. I know that I'm going to have other things filling it in, so I'm not really worried about it right now. But in any other sense or any other case, you just want to make sure that you uh, try not to take those breaths out completely because you want the vocals to transition and sound natural. All right. So same thing. Gain envelope. Gonna go ahead and apply that. She a backer. All right. So I'm just gonna try to do this really fast now, just because I know exactly what I want to do. Bad. Now, this is a singing vocal. Bad girl. All right. So you want to be very careful when it comes to what whatever you choose to take out, as far as the breaths and stuff. Uh, you want to keep it natural. So let's go ahead and do the noise reduction and apply it and make sure that it sounds okay. Bad girl. Which it does. And this time I'm not going to silence that vocal in the beginning or that little breath because I want my vocals to transition naturally while singing. Okay. Let's go here. Let's go ahead and uh, go to the compression. Let's go to the gain envelope. And let's just apply those batch fades. Now, for that particular breath, back. Like I said, if it's if it's something that's bothering you too much, then I'm gonna click here and do negative 2.0, just to cut it down just a little bit. Back, girl. Like that particular vocal there, it's not necessary because that's obviously me trying to catch it on time. Same thing here. Like I say, you just want to kind of decide uh, what's what's necessary and what's not necessary. I don't have to have that completely in there, but if I want to, just go ahead and negative 2.0. To turn that down just because I don't want it as loud as it is. And silence there. And that's natural there. Works fine for me. If you had to, you can also uh, pull your your fade into that particular point. You see how it just builds in? Now just make sure you save your stuff uh, often. And the same thing here. I'm just going to do this one really fast. I want to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Uh, let's go ahead and highlight it. Go to that noise reduction. Apply that. Let's go ahead and go to the the gain envelope. And apply these fades really quick. Doesn't matter because we're going to silence particular areas here, areas here. And same thing here. Let's just check this. Back Okay, so like when you have that coming in like that, it's it's too sudden. Uh, it's very strong and abrupt, so you want to make sure that you cut that down. About to push up on it, she. Now this is now this is not so bad, but uh, you want to make sure that it's at a level that you can tolerate. And right now, I'm just nitpicking right now. Uh, this tutorial could be a lot faster, but I uh, just want to show you guys how I do some some editing inside of this software. 
because it's important. Um, every crucial little editing tip that you do is going to actually make your recordings sound a lot better. So don't get lazy is what I'm saying. Uh, this engineering stuff, it's it's not easy. You know, it's something that you have to have a skill for. And I personally have the skill for it because I have the patience, okay? She a bad girl. She gonna make a nigga want it. Let me see you twerk it. I'm about to push up on it. She a bad girl. All right, so stay tuned for the next portion of the video. The next portion of the video, I'm going to actually show you guys how I start to pan the vocals and start applying EQ, compression, and different things like that to go ahead and make the vocals sound nice and clean. Um, so make sure that you watch this video as well as the one before and stay tuned for the next. Hit that subscribe button and keep watching. Thank you.